Here's a story about uh, a man that had um, uh, an illness, and my dad uh, tuberculosis, and he helped him um, try to get back into health. Okay, um, Dad, ¿qué, ¿qué pasó? What happened? Ese hombre estaba metido en una caballeriza. He was. This man was living in a um, uh, where they had the horses uh, on the Tenelos caballos, right? Ah, the horses. And he was with a uh, sister, a sister, and uh, um, con una hermana y una cuñada, and, and a brother-in-law with his sister and brother-in-law. Uh huh. Bueno, yo llegué ese día. My dad got there that day. Y en la, en la tarde. In the evening. Y luego yo me asomé para afuera. And he looked outside. Y un, un, un hombre ahí encogido así. He said that he looked outside and he saw a man that was crouching. Pues yo fui y le pregunté. And he went and over tenía. and talked to him and asked him what's wrong. Y le, y le dije que de dónde venía él. My dad asked him, "Who are you and where are you coming from?" And he says, "No, this is my this is my sister's house." He said, "He said, he said that he said, are you living here? Are you sleeping out here?" He said, "Yes." In the nighttime too. He said, "Yes." He says, "How come they don't have you in the house?" He was still crouched down, and he said, "I don't know." My dad didn't say much else. He felt bad for him. With him, for him. My dad said, "How long have you been out here like this?" He says, "Oh, very long, long time." He says, "Here's where they bring me the food. Is outside here." El pobrecito allí le daban la comida, yo no sabía nada, yo, yo llegué ese día. My dad said the poor man, they bring the food out to him, and my dad said that he didn't know anything, because he just got there. He said, you can't go inside the house? He said, no, inside the house, no. Tenía que estar afuera, allí donde está, y también en la noche. He said, I have to stay outside here, even at night. And he was crouched down in a uh, a horse stable, like. And, and my dad said he'd never seen anything like that, and he felt bad for him. He said tonight you're gonna sleep out here. He said yeah, all night. Era una caballeriza que estaba allí. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he was crouched down where they keep the horses. Y luego qué pasó, ¿Qué pasó? La cosa que pasó fue que yo dije, me dio mucha lástima con él. My dad said he felt real bad. And dije, mira, he said, my dad said something to him. Yo a todo, voy a estar aquí ahora. He said, I'm only going to be here tonight, my dad said. Y me voy a ir, y te quieres ir conmigo. He says, if you want to come me with me, sí. I, you can come with me. And he said, yes. Ah, ok. Entonces, uh, era hijo de uno con que con el padre de la yo lo no era muy amigo mío pero lo conocía. My dad said that he knew his father. Bueno le dije te vas a ir conmigo. He said you're gonna come with me. Le dije a Carla a qué casa le dije no tengo casa yo no tenía casa. He said he goes what house and my dad said I don't have a house. Pero te vas conmigo güey. He said but you come with me. Pues ah pues voy a dormir así como estoy aquí ahorita. Oh, pero usted no tenía casa, ¿no? No tenía casa. My dad didn't have a house. Ay, he... Llegué allí con su hermana de él y su cuñado. Yeah, my dad went gone there to see the, his, that pero man's sister and él. his brother-in-law. And my dad felt bad. Luego ya traté de, de figurar cómo hacerle. And then my dad was figuring out how to do this. Dije, mira. And he said that, uh, I'll, I'm going to leave tomorrow then, my dad said. Y tú te vas conmigo. And you go with me. And the man said, where? He said, don't you worry about that. He said, wherever I sleep, you're going to sleep. And my dad said that he had tuberculosis. 
Por eso me dijo la hermana de él que en la casa no lo consentían por eso. My dad was saying that that's why the man's sister said that he cannot sleep in the house, or my husband said he can't sleep in this house. The, they had children, um, and the girls were big. And they were afraid that the illness would, would that they would all get sick. And my dad felt real bad for him. And and he was my dad said he like he couldn't even like the man couldn't even get up and he told him I can't walk I can't work he says I don't know where to go he took him and he said my dad said I don't have a house either but you come with me he said, I'm going to take you with me. He said, that's fine. Because I was just, he was just crouched down there. And my dad asked the man, uh, the, his sister, and the sister said that he, she said she couldn't have him in the house. And the illness, they're going to get sick. My dad said, oh my gosh. He said, that's why you don't have him inside? And she said, that's why. And my husband doesn't want him inside either. My dad couldn't say too much because that was his first day there. So my dad said, I leave tomorrow. And you go with me. And he said, yes. He said, just here day and night here, crouched down like this. Then you, I'm going to take you with me. Then my dad told his wife and that he's going to take, that he's going to take him with him. And she said, oh, he has tuberculosis. And he's real sick said, what are you going to do? And she said, I'm going to, he said, I'm going to take him. He said, but I have a daughter. He said, that's okay, but I'm going to take him. She said, we don't have a house. And he said, but I'm going to still take him. I didn't want to leave him just laying there. They asked if he had a house. He said, no. He said, I'll, I'll, said I had a daughter, and, but I'll sleep uh, next to the man. And he said he wasn't, my dad was not thinking about that the illness would, would that they would get sick. He said the man couldn't even get up. And then he took him. He took him with him. And he told him, I don't have a house. Nothing. He said, wherever you sleep, I'll sleep right there on the floor. And you can sleep on the floor too, right there next to me. And I'll sleep right there. And they were telling my dad that that illness, he was going to get it. He was going to get the tuberculosis. And my dad said, well, if I get it, I get it. But I took him. And when the morning came, I said, he, I said you come with me. He didn't even tell his sister. He just got up and went in the car. Bueno. And then, my dad didn't have a house. He'd sleep on the other side of Fresno, driving in the vehicle, in a field. And the man slept right there in the field with him. And neither did his family believe that, they would, that he should take him, but he didn't leave him. That poor man slept there in the field. And then he told my dad, I'm, you're gonna, he said, you're going to catch this illness. My dad said, well, if I catch it, 
let me catch it. But I laid down there. And then my wife and then the, my little daughter were right there too. And then my, my wife said that the illness, I'm going to catch it. We're going to catch it. And my dad said, if, it's gonna, if I'm going to catch it, I'm going to catch it. And he says, here I am today, still. And he didn't catch it. And then he slept next to him with that illness. And he kept telling him, you're going to catch this illness. And you're, he's still here today, my dad says. He went to Fresno with him. And over there, he, found, he got a little room. And the man was a real nice man that got him the room. And he told the story to the man. He said, this, kid, this man, I brought him with me. And he said he was sick. But he said he's going to lay down next to me when he sleeps. And that man said, that's fine. He didn't say anything else to him. He told him the illness that he had, and that man said nothing to him. And then, ¿qué pasó? No. No. Agarré un pedazo que estaba limpio y luego allí lo, lo, lo formé como una casita, no casita, era cualquier hijo porque tenía mucha familia el hombre. Oh, he had a little area there that he made. Uh, el hombre no, él no me dijo nada. So he can sleep, and the man didn't say anything to my dad. Yo que sí estaba enfermo. But he told him the man was sick. Muchacho. He didn't tell him what to do or anything. He just said nothing. He was a nice man. And then, and then he gave him a spot, an area inside the house for the boy too, for the family. And, and my dad would get him up early in the morning. My dad would get him up at 6 in the morning to do exercise. And my dad was um, uh, felt really bad. And the owner of the house never said anything. His name was Pablo. I can't remember his last name. But he was a good man. He didn't say anything to him. He was very happy and he received him very well. And he just wanted to be sitting down, the man. And my dad said, no, stand up, stand up. And then he had him there. My dad would get him up early in the morning. And he had him do exercises, but the man couldn't. And he couldn't. He said, try it again. And he had him... He had him doing that for about 15 days. After 15 days, that man was doing more exercises and more exercises. And more. Until he was doing the exercise like my dad. And that man was actually, he went to Pearl Harbor. And when they bombed Pearl Harbor, he was killed. His, even his three sisters wanted him back home, but he didn't want to go back home. And he didn't go back to their house. But he, but he healed himself. He was healed and did exercise just like my dad. And when they... And he was so appreciative. 
me vino a ver a mí, no, no fue con sus hermanos. When he was stationed uh, in de, Pearl Harbor, he had come, come back to visit my dad. Y estuvo conmigo, lo, lo, lo llamaron de vuelta que tenía que And he visited him and then they called él, him back. Él decidió irse otra vez And then vuelta. he went back to Pearl Harbor. Y se fue otra vez de vuelta. And went back. Y la segunda vez que fue, The second, second time he went back is when he was killed when they bombed Pearl Harbor. Pero ese muchacho, ese muchacho, estaba tan agradecido que no te lo imaginas. He said he was so appreciative el hombre que that you could barba. see it. It was unbelievable. Y, y nadie creía esa cosa. Nobody la, would la help. Creyeron la gente después que ya lo miraron bien. And when they saw this todo, happen, then they believed. Bien, bien because he was so healed. Y no se le pegó la enfermedad a los hijos de nada. And, and, and the illness was not my, my dad or his family daughter or wife didn't get this illness at all this is the story but the man that gave him the opportunity was a very nice man and he didn't say anything and that's the story